Hello everybody and welcome back to FX Street. My name is Akash and today we're going to be taking a look at Ethereum. Right, so since our last discussion on Ethereum and uh, an article that I posted yesterday, uh, hold up, where, let me just pull that article up. All right, so this was the article that I wrote yesterday where I explain uh, different scenarios on where Bitcoin is going to go, both from a macro perspective uh, and from a, uh, from a short-term perspective and also kind of uh, include a little bit of on-chain metrics to see how it goes. So if you haven't checked this out, please make sure to go and check it out. But from a short-term perspective, these are the two outlooks that I'm expecting. And the reason why I'm kind of like short-term bullish on uh, Ethereum is because of the way Bitcoin is acting right now. I'm expecting a relief rally for Bitcoin. So if you haven't checked that video out, please make sure to go and check it out. Uh, check that video first out and then come back to any of the old videos that you're going to watch. So uh, this is what we're going to be discussing today, right? These two scenarios and why the price is going to go up and not down. And then take a brief look at the macro outlook for, for Ethereum as well. So before we actually get into the details of any of this stuff, please make sure to head on over to the YouTube channel and hit the subscribe button. And if you want to stay updated with the hardest trends in the crypto market and the content that we post almost every single day, please make sure to also click on this bell icon. But you can also give us a follow on Twitter at FXS Crypto. And if you enjoy the content that I put out, make sure to also give me a follow at Mangeko with a zero at the end. Right? I not only post content uh, on my Twitter, but also have my personal YouTube channel. So please make sure to go and give me a follow as well. Right, so let's get back to Ethereum. Right, uh, let me just change this, this, yep. Right, and let's get to Ethereum. Right, so as I've, as explained in uh, the Ethereum video that I did for FX Street a few days ago, and on my personal channel, I'm not sure if I did that, but either way, right, let me just quickly give you a brief rundown of why I've marked out these levels and why these levels are important. Right, so for now, what we've had is Bitcoin Ethereum price crashed down to 1703 or 1701 on this uh, May 12th crash, and since then the price has recovered quite a bit and formed lower highs and lower lows but things are kind of changing here as you can see here the price formed a low around 1731 price formed not a higher high but equal high around 2010 2020 and since then the price is kind of consolidating around uh, the 1813 support level right so what i'm expecting from ethereum is the, let's, let's start with the first scenario which is the green one where the price kind of picks itself up or consolidates around 1813 and then makes a run at all of these highs. So these highs basically have, so let's assume that the people that shorted here have the stop loss system around here. So let me just quickly give you an outlook. Say you shorted Ethereum here, you have a stop loss somewhere above these highs, right? Right now we have another person over here that shorts Ethereum and even he has his stops above these highs. So basically, investors or traders that kind of shorted ethereum at any of these swing highs basically have the stop losses above this level around here uh, so it would make sense for the price or for the market makers or smart money to push the price up collect the stop losses of these investors up here right so in with that in mind i believe that there's no downside objective uh, so to speak because the price has from lower lows before it actually may uh, uh, to be U-turn and value quite a bit, right? So now I don't see any reason why Bitcoin price, well, Ethereum price should head lower. And since I'm expecting a relief value to 35k for Bitcoin, uh, if that happens, Ethereum price is obviously going to follow suit, right? So with that in mind, I feel like the first level that Ethereum is going to target is 2020. Beyond that, we have these three levels here. The first one is 2088. The second one is 20, 2120, and the last one is 2164. So from a conservative outlook, if I were to kind of long Ethereum where it is right now, we'll kind of place my stop losses around here and book my profits around here. Right, so this is the first uh, trade. And the second trade would be if I kind of feel like Bitcoin is going to head down a little lower, then I would just wait for the price to come down here. And then book profits around, again, the same level, right? But this would give me a six hour trade. So this is me being conservative, depending uh, with only changing the entry positions. Uh, I could either enter around 1813 over the prices right now, or I could enter after a sweep of this support level here at 1731. 
regardless the conservative outlook take profit level is 2164 right but if you if the price kind of shows strength as it uh, goes up to 2164 then you could probably wait and put profits around this high time frame resistance at 2341 and 2412 right this would give you an 8 to 10 hour trade right so that is basically my plan for ethereum over the next week or so uh, now things could change right if bitcoin kind of fails to manifest that really rally and continues to head south then let's take a look at what's going to happen in that perspective in that scenario from a higher time from perspective right so we have 1730 as, uh, as a very important level from a weekly time frame as you can see here there are many 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 uh, retests uh, flips and then a retest of this level here and even the May 12th crash, right? Okay, this is, not, this is the May 12th crash and this is the May 23rd. Like all have found some sort of support around 1730. So basically this level is going to be extremely important. So if we kind of break down below this level on a daily, three day or perhaps a one week time frame or a weekly candlestick, I think that would signal that the price is due for a further crash. Now, in that case, the, the target of this bear flag that we see here, which is much more clearly visible on the 3-day time frame, right? This one forecast a 49% downswing. And so far since the breakout, we've only dropped like 32%, right? So which is a little more than half, but uh, there is still a 27% crash possibility for Ethereum, which would put Ethereum at 1298 or roughly 1300. And so that is the other side of this trade. So, yep, if you enjoyed this analysis, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.